Welcome back for another uh, update on this sawmill shed barn building thing build. Uh, last week we got almost all of our ledger board beam stuffs up on the main part of the shed here. Uh, we still got a couple more to put up on this, this center uh, span here. Uh, we got one of them up. We still got a couple more to tack up in there uh, for that span. That's the first thing we're going to work on. Once we get that up, we're going to move to the back wall here. Uh, getting those posts up, and I think as we put them up, we're going to go ahead and tie them into the main structure over here uh, because this back wall is just sort of... Uh, I, I guess you could say freestanding at the moment. There's, it's just a single line, whereas over here it's more rectangular, so it supports itself. So I think we want to tie those into the main structure uh, as we build it.
check it out guys all the posts are up all the ledger board beam things are up and we are almost ready to start putting floor joists in before we start on that i'm going to put in a little strip uh, around the bottom of the ledger boards that way i can set the uh, the floor joist on top of that so I'm not having to try and hold them up and nail them in and stuff um, So it'll kind of act as a little bit of a hanger of sorts uh, Just a little one by two inch uh, strip. We're gonna nail those in and We'll be ready to start putting the floor joist down Okay, well it took me all of uh, two joists to figure out that uh, I need a piece of plywood or something up there so that I can set nails and whatnot on there kind of give me a platform that i can sit on stand on because my knees are killing me already after kind of kneeling around on top of those joists so i think i've got some up in the old tobacco barn up there i'll see if i can't find something up there and we'll get it stuck up there so i have something to get on This is going to be so much better. Looking good, looking good. Depending on how you calculate it, that's either one half or one third of the work done. Uh, it's half of the joist, but one third of the uh, the total surface area or total length of board to put up because that's twice as wide over on that side than it is over here. Smooth, Josh. Real smooth. I, I didn't like that board anyways. <clears throat> Fortunately, I have a uh, an extra one over there in my stack of random boards. So we'll be able to get that thing. It's actually a, uh, a two inches taller, wider, whatever, than I need it. So I'm going to grab that thing, throw it on the mill, take that's gonna blow off uh, take off a couple inches off from it and replace that one and I don't know if we're gonna have time to work on the floor joist on that side or not today okay guys there we go got that that crummy old poplar one placed with a piece of oak up there uh, the uh, the camera's doing a pretty good job of compensating for the dark but that's all we're gonna get done today. I'm just about out of daylight here. So 
pick up a little bit of stuff here for the day and tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a fun day I don't know if I'm gonna record anything from it or not but uh, uh, there's a, a farm auction here not too far away from here and uh, I no, I've said it before but I, I love going to these old farm auctions you never you never know what you're gonna find around there there's almost always lots of old cool tools around there and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that so I'm not probably gonna get anything done on this tomorrow but uh it's gonna be a good day okay guys we are back from the auction and yes my face is very sunburnt as are my arms that's why I put on a long sleeve shirt part way through the day I was standing outside all day long and it's been a uh, really nice day it was like in the mid 70s and it's uh, beginning of April right now so it was a really nice day the first day like that we've had so far this year everybody was just getting toasted out there so I'm gonna show you what all I got I, I did pretty well I think so first off I got a, uh, a cement mixer here this is something I've been looking at for a little while there's no motor or engine on it uh, but it's a decent sized one and everything turns really nicely so I think that was good that was just like a little two dollar buy it's some insulation for electric fence I got a work light so that way if I'm working late on the sawmill shed or something over here I've got some good lights for that I also got <laughs> I got another uh, grindstone here I know I've already got the treadle grindstone you've seen it in a couple of videos uh, this one is a lot finer um, it's a it's a smoother stone than the other one is it's not a treadle stone it could be set up for that but um, it's got just got the pulley system on it and it's got the uh, the water bath system down in here too so you just dump that water in there instead of having the drip system on top so I don't know I'll mess around with that I got it for like fifteen dollars or something it was really cheap and then finally I got a little a little transfer pump and so the idea with this is that I can use this to hook up put it over in the creek and I can run a hose over here so I have water to uh, over here to the sawmill shed or I can use it to like hose down the skid steer get mud and stuff off from there wash down logs stuff like that I'm hoping to get out here tomorrow afternoon I've got something in the morning uh, hopefully I'll get out here in the afternoon and uh, maybe we can get some of these uh, um, floor joists put up over in the the longer span here and hopefully <clears throat> we can do that without taking out any more boards 